everyone. I am making some really big changes to my planner and journal lineup, but in this video, I want to talk about my planner. I usually use the Hobonichi Weeks as a planner, and I've been doing it for a few years now, but 2021 is the first year that I'm going to have used it the whole entire year without any breaks. It has come in clutch for me so many different times. As you can see here for 2022, I have a completely different weeks than I originally hauled in, in like my last Hobonichi haul video. This is a week's mega. This is the first time I've ever had a mega. I originally had the Liberty Weeks, the floral one for 2022. I have since gotten rid of that because I'm going to be using this week's because I want to combine this whole A5 setup into my planner. I will link below the video where I went into depth about this. It's, it's not a planner, it's like a family logbook uh, because I'm not gonna go into detail in this video. I'm just gonna show you the things I'm taking from here and incorporating into my planner setup. So in the video where I went into detail about this, at the end of that video, I said I was gonna continue with this, but I was gonna use the take a note planner for 2022. Obviously that has changed. I actually contacted the company and I was able to cancel my pre-order and they refunded me. So the take a note is not gonna be a thing. And the whole reason that I'm making this particular change among some other journal changes is because I found out that we are moving. We are going to be moving again, that'll be twice within a year. And it's basically, it's basically the same kind of major move as last time. So I'm trying to be wise and trying to learn lessons from the last move because I quit using everything except my planner. And I don't wanna do that again this time. And so yeah, so making some changes. So what I wanna do is I will show you the sections in here and how I will be working them into the weeks. And then at the end of the video, I will show you this beautiful cover. I, you know, it's Maverick, so nobody's surprised there. But I made this new cover with some changes, some adjustments uh, for, for next year. So I'll go through that at the end and compare it to the other one that I previously made. All right, so first of all, I have this medical booklet. This is like the memo book that comes in a three pack that's Hobonichi week size. This is gonna show my idiocy, but you know, just gonna put it out there on display. <laughs> So originally what I did was this calendar at the front of a Hobonichi Weeks. I never used it and I, I have never used it, but what I did was I photocopied this and then glued it in here. And essentially what this is keeping track of is when my kids get sick or just are afflicted with anything that might be health related. Each kid has a specific color. I highlight the day in the subsequent pages. I write the date the name of the person, and then any details. So I'm just gonna do that in the actual calendar instead of photocopying it and creating a whole other book for it. That's what I'm gonna be using here. So I put, you know, a sad cloud because this is technically for any ailments and afflictions. I have a little color code here with each name and I'll have a section back here. I've labeled all the sections, so I'll show that at the end. I've labeled it illness and it's gonna run the same way as I do it in here, date, name, and then details of what was going on. And I'm just gonna list it from top to bottom in bullet point format. It's gonna be very easy and straightforward. And you know, so there you go, we're, we're simplifying things. All right, next up, I have this section. This is what I used for tracking in this A5. I'm not a huge tracking person and I, I don't do it for very long and I don't do it for more than two things at any given time. So basically 
This spread is what I will be using for tracking when I need to. This is more than enough space for that. So that's all I have to say about that. Now, monthlies, this is essentially, we'll move to my current weeks. This is essentially the same type of information that I have in my, my weeks. The only difference is that this is not comprehensive, but this is. The monthlies both contain any appointments or activities that have been scheduled. So what happens is in my weeks, I will look at the upcoming week and then I will take all of these appointments and then fill them in on the current week. If within this week, something pops up and gets scheduled, like say on a Friday, I will add it in on, on the weeks, but I will not go back and add it in on the monthly. So basically that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna make sure if anything pops up during the week that I go back and add it in here. That way when I have this overview, it is comprehensive, which is what this was. So it's a very simple change and something I'll definitely be able to incorporate in here. I wanna point out two other things uh, because I've recently started adding these in and I find them to be very, very helpful. So I have these little icons here and and birthday ones too, and then like a video youtube -y looking thing. So these are Deco Rush tapes and they're very, very flat. This right here is a Sterling Ink sticker and it's very thick and when I go like this I can kind of feel it on all of the path, past months. So I'm trying to reduce bulk basically, especially in, in the Mega. So I've been experimenting with the Deco Rush tapes and I love, love, love them. So these are the main ones that I have. I have the one to mark birthdays, one for grocery shopping, and then this one to mark when I do YouTube videos. I have a couple of others. This is like a fork and a spoon, but I don't I don't find much use out of that one. So that one isn't as helpful. And this one's purely uh, decorative. It's just a floral, a floral pattern. But these are my three main go-tos. I love, love having these. So I just keep them in this pouch with all of my pens that are currently in use. So what I do is when I go grocery shopping, I put the icon there and then down here, I'll write the date and then the total amount I spent. I'm trying to be very, very conscientious about our budget and our spending, especially these days, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so then anything that has the birthday icon, I come over here again, write the date and then the name of the person whose birthday that is. And then all I do is just put that icon when um, I do a video. And I can fit three of them across. So if any of these things overlap, these last two lines of boxes will hold pretty much everything that I need. So I, I really like that change. I'm, I'm having so much fun using those Deco Rush. So then the next thing we come to is the weeklies in here. This is by far the most important section out of this whole setup that I want to incorporate into here. And this is one of the major reasons that I needed, you know, triple the notes pages back here. So essentially what is contained in this section is all of the really boring adulting type of information so if we pay taxes how much did we get the cars service did i pick up prescriptions from where for who how much what was the medicine like that kind of stuff and i really really enjoy having that uh, all in one place but as you can see the information is spread out over a weekly spread so it's not as condensed as as it could be and what i will be doing here as you can see, I've labeled it household. I will be putting all this information, but in here, and again, I'm just gonna do bullet points, the date, and then all the details, and it will be listed out very simply like that. 
And <laughs> that's essentially what's gonna happen with all of this information. I definitely wanna take that into here because I find this extremely helpful and it's gonna be more efficient in here because it's gonna be more condensed instead of spread out. So we're improving. Okay, so the daily pages, this isn't being transferred into here. This was mostly just to hold photos and there's like so many different ways that can be done. So I'm, I'm not worried about that. So those are the basics of the information in here being kept in the weeks. So what I'll do now is I will show you how I have things labeled in the notes pages here. So first of all, I'll just clarify what I do use the notes pages for. It is October 25th or something right now. I only have like 10 empty notes pages left in my regular weeks for this year. And what that mostly consists of are my messy notes. I can't even show them because I don't even have them, the information censored in here. Uh, but basically, it usually happens when I'm on a call. If I make a call or I receive a call and I get this influx of information, I will go to the notes pages and I scribble down really, really messily everything that I can possibly write down about that phone call. And that's what my notes pages are. After the fact, I can then organize it, maybe rewrite it in a section it needs to go in, but this is like a dumping ground. So it's basically an information landfill, and this is a necessary part of my planning system. I have to have this sort of drop zone for, for that messy stuff. As you can see, I have the pages labeled note, and this is something that I will be starting for 2022 in an effort to at least keep my pages kind of organized is I want to have these labels. Um, on the right side, it'll be on the top right, and on the left, it's the bottom left. And it just makes it easy when I flip through like this, I can easily see all of the labels. And then the same thing on, on the bottom left. I find that when I labeled across the top, which I tried in the notes pages here, it's not as easy to uh, flip through the pages. You kind of have to open them all the way, which is like super tiny and nitpicky, but I'm trying to make my life as easy as possible here. So, so that's what I'll be doing here. And so these messy notes are going to work from the front, uh, from the beginning of the notes pages, and I'm gonna work my way back. Now, starting at the back, this is where the information is organized and where the sections begin that are organized. So I'll show you the sections I have so far. Right now I have movies. I do want to not keep track of the movies that I have watched. This is gonna be an ongoing list of movies that I want to be reminded to check out. And then I get really frustrated because I never know when things are released and what platform they're released on. That's probably the most annoying thing. So I will be listing out the movie title, release date, and then the platform. I have allotted two pages for this. I haven't labeled uh, more than one page in each of these sections because I don't know if I'm gonna end up needing another page. And so I like to leave this blank in case I want to commandeer it for uh, another type of list. So then I have shows, same thing as movies. I'm gonna list the title, platform, release date, that kind of thing. Two pages allotted for that as well. And then I have gifts. For this, in 2022, I wanna keep track of all of the presents that the members of my immediate family receive for birthdays and holidays. Uh, I, I don't wanna forget those things. And so I have allotted four pages, I think, four pages for that. And then next up is illness. So this corresponds with the front calendar here. So whenever I highlight a day, I'll just come to this section and work my way down. And the way that I'm gonna work these pages is I start on the right side, work down, and then go to the next page and then work my way down and then continue towards the left. So for illness, I've allotted four pages for that. I hope I don't need them all, but you know, whatever, we'll see. 
The last section I have labeled right now is household. So this is the household logbook for all of that nitty gritty adult responsibility type stuff. So I'll be working my way forward with that. Now, I am not a stickler for interrupting the flow here. So for any reason, if I need like more space for gifts than, than what I have allotted here, what I plan on doing is just going to the next available empty page and then I'll write gifts and then continue it here. And then as I need more room for household, I'll just go to the next available page, label it, and that's that. So the idea is when I flip through this, it's I can't do it now because there's not very many, but I'll be able to kind of see everything here. And I'm playing with the idea of tabbing. I, I haven't come up with a system. I have I had tabs down here and I recently removed them because I just did not like them at all. But these are all different colors, so I may color coordinate my tabs. That way gifts are blue so that if I need subsequent pages here, I'll mark a blue tab here and then the next blue tab when that section starts up again. I'm gonna play with that. I'm not exactly sure how how I want to approach that yet. And it may be something that just develops throughout the year. That's what I have so far for this. Um, I put the clear sticker here because this is where I'm gonna keep my Hobonichi stencil. I'm leaving the back blank, meaning I'm not going to cover it with any kind of papers because I want to leave this for all of these stickers that I get when we travel places. We love to camp and I always come back with stickers from, from those locations and I want to commemorate the places we went during this year. And since I'm not journaling anymore, which I'll, I'll get into that probably in a lineup video, I wanna have a place for those stickers. So I'm gonna put them all here and then maybe into these informational pages because I, I never reference these. So that's that. And yeah, move, moving on and moving to bigger things. All right, so as far as the cover, the covers go. I made this new one for, for 2022. This is what I made a year ago that I've been using a majority of the year. As you can see, it has interlocking pen loops here and it has stacked card pockets here. So for this one, oh, I'll, I'll just address this really quick too. I've always had this in the back of my weeks and what this is, it contains the names, addresses, phone numbers, and fax numbers of all of the places we frequent, like dentists, pharmacies, doctors, et cetera, et cetera. And this is now gonna have information from three different states and it's just really helpful when we set up appointments at a new practice and they ask for all of your previous doctor's information, it's all in here and I don't have to carry business cards around. So I recovered this. I previously had like a yellow cover with my mushroom girls on there, but I simplified it and I added this leather pen loop, which, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but as you can see, as far as the inside pockets go, I, I went through a few different ideas and kind of struggled with it a bit. And eventually I decided to keep the pockets plain and clean uh, without any additional pockets for stuff. And I just found I don't really need this. It's nice to have, but it makes me just want to fill them. I entertained the idea of maybe doing like two slit pockets on here. And then I nixed that idea because any business cards and things that I collect they need to be transferred into this. This is the whole reason I have this. So, you know, I'm trying to make myself not lazy. Um, so I kept them clean and simple. And because of that, I wanted to add a little something to it. So I put in my scalloped pockets. This is like a, I, I will link below where I buy this Maverick leather and where I get this glazed harness leather. So, I did the scallops and I really love the contrast of this very feminine type of design against the very rugged and masculine type of maverick leather that this is. So 
the next thing that I did was I added a little bit of width. I added like a quarter, I added like a quarter inch because I knew I did not want a closure on this. This one just has the double interlocking pen loops, but I didn't want a closure on this. I wanted it to keep it clean and simple. And in order to make sure it was gonna close on its own, I want, it needed a little bit of extra width so that there was room in here uh, for it to close. Anyway, that came in super handy that I added that extra width because I, I had made this for that Liberty Fabrics regular sized weeks. This mega happens to fit in here perfectly, which I mean, whew, that because if I wasted this leather, I was going to be really mad because that was my whole, my favorite, um, texture out of the whole, <laughs> out of the whole hide that I got. So pockets. Okay. Now pen loop. So this is what I found in practice since I've been using this one for a year. I keep my grocery list in here. It's part of my weekly spread. So I have this on the go and I'm always flipping it open and like crossing things out. And what I found that I did all the time was instead of closing it up and locking my book and threading this through both of the loops, all I did was take the clip, clip it like that, close it up, throw it in my bag. And that's how I use it. So I designed this with that use in mind. And what I wanted was a leather pen loop. I need the rigidity and the durability of leather. I didn't want to make it paper or the elastic because it doesn't have the rigidity needed for this. So I played with so many ideas of how to incorporate this into this cover system. I was going to attach it and after lots of thought and lots of like inner debate, I finally decided to just glue it and then stitch it to this cover. And it's, it's, it's perfect. It sits within the system, which, which is how I like it, if at all possible. And then it, it clips on there like a dream, it, exactly, exactly how I planned for it to be. So, uh, oh no. I keep it just like this and I've really broken in the spine on this and I could break it in a little more but I'm just gonna start using it and see how much it will just break in with use because this one definitely did and another thing to note about Maverick is it's chrome tanned but also veg tanned so it does change over time and with this one I actually noticed it with heavy use and over a year, this texture really flattened out. It doesn't go away completely, but it definitely smoothed down a bit and then it got darker. So these cracks used to be much, much brighter than they are right now. And uh, because it has a veg tanned component to it, it does darken. So I like wide, deep cracks that are bright because I know over time they're going to darken a bit, but my goodness, I love this so much. So I have my papers here. I'll link below where I printed this off from. It's from, it's Hobonichi Download City or something like that. But this is all that I have for now. And I will talk about the rest of my lineup, which is mostly journals in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.